Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a good day. My name is Amberly, and today I'll be doing my natural glam makeup routine. When it comes to makeup, I don't know what I'm doing. I just do whatever I think works for me and I think I'm doing it right, but I don't know. So anyways, let's get started. I love my face to be like super moisturized and my skin to be like super commercial soft. So my secret is this right here. It's the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Repairing Lotion. I have it linked down below, but I love it so much. It is my holy grail. It's amazing right now i have no makeup on so i'm just gonna put some on right now i got this recommended to me by my dermatologist so i better be good next thing i'm going to do is on my beauty blender my beauty blender is now all wet i find that doing this helps the product go on easier and helps like with blending and everything foundation for me has always never worked no matter what i've tried but what seems to work for me the most is the morphe hint hint skin tint it is the most lightweight thing i've ever used like when i put it on it doesn't feel like i'm wearing anything i'm using this in the shade marshmallow it seems to match me the best. It comes in a dropper. I love this. It makes me feel so fancy. I apply it mostly on my cheek because that's where I have like acne scars. That's pretty much about how much I would use. Now I'm just going to blend that all out with the beauty blender. The key is to make sure you're just patting it and you're not like rubbing it in. I just blended it all in. It looks super smooth and my skin is all even. Now for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. It's the satin finish one and my color is light peach. I just put it again on my acne scars because they never seem to cover up blend that out and then i take some more and put it under my eyes and, and then what works for me the best with blending a brush never works a beauty blender never works for under my eyes what works best is my fingers so i just take my finger and i just pat it out right now that my scary dark under eyes are all covered up i'm gonna use the marvel by maybelline instant age Rewind eraser in the color warm olive i'm using this as contour because my skin is all now one color and I want to add a little bit of shadow to it. So I just take this and I just do it on my face. And then I'll take a little dot and take some here and just drag it up. This gives you a very like lifted effect. I'm blending this out once again with my beauty blender. Once you get to this part right here, you want to make sure that you're blending up. I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm holding it downwards or upwards like this. And then I'm blending up. So you're putting it up, you have to blend it up to give you like that lifted effect. And there you go. It made like the smallest difference, but still something, you know? But anyways, that was it for the liquid products that I used. Before I move on to like the dry powders, I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup so it all stays in place throughout my whole day. For setting powder, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Fair Light. And then I'm using this Eagle Tools Real Techniques brush. And I just put it on my face lightly. Moving on for my powders now, I'm gonna use the Luminous. Sun Club bronzing powder from Essence. This is the medium tone one and I'm using this big Real Techniques brush. I literally put the slightest bit on. Now for my favorite part which is making my nose look smaller because my nose is huge. So I'm taking this contour kit by Anastasia and I use this color right here. So I take it right here and here's the nose part. So you take your finger you do a little that, and then I use my finger for this. I don't know why, it just works the best. And I just do that. Okay, I'm not gonna leave like that, don't worry. Now my nose looks like a slightest bit smaller. I take some more and I put it under my nose, and I put it right here on, over my eyes, and it just makes it look more like the last but not least for my face makeup, I take the Fitzgerald's Formula Murmur Butter Bronzer Palette. You know how the girls do like that sun kiss, like suntan thing? Well, I do the same thing, but with bronzer. So I take this color right here, and then I just put it over my nose bridge. And then I'll like drag it over here a little bit. And yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. And then I use the same color again for eyeshadow. Now moving on to eyebrows. My eyebrows are like my favorite thing to do. This is my magic. It is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. It is so quick, so simple, and easy to use. It comes with two little steps. So first you use your brow pomade to just like shape your eyebrows. And then you use these to like fill in any little spots here or like so I take this side of the brush and I dip it in the pomade and then I just shape it a little bit towards the front of my hairs. Boom. And then just fill in the hairs towards the front. Boom. Now for the other side. I dip it in the brow setter and I just fill in the hairs towards the back. Boom. Then I take an eyebrow spoolie and I just brush my eyebrow hairs up. Now all we have left is my eyes and lips, but I'm gonna set my makeup really quick. I use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. It doesn't make it matte, I trust me. That was a block. 
Okay, that's all dried off. That just helps to make my makeup stay on all day. Now moving on to eyes. This is the most stressful part and the longest part of all. I go crazy. I take a movie palette. And I use a shade right here. It's called Deep End. So I take this brush that I got at Five and Below. It works amazing. I dip it in the Deep End. Man, boo, tomato, tomato. And I do like a little wing, but not like too crazy, just like a little one. Boom, I did it. Then I use this palette. I've been using it for like five years. It's done expired by now, but I'm using the color Skip Day right here and then this brush from MAC. And I just put it under my eye right here. And there you have it. Now I'm taking the NYX Epic Ink Liner in the color black. Okay, I cannot do mascara on camera. I will literally get so distracted. So I'm curling my lashes with the Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. It works wonders. Uh oh. And then I use the L'Oreal Golden Telescopic Mascara. It's already dried out. I just use it to separate my lashes. Right after, like right after, when it's still wet, I use this Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. It's make sure it's the full fan effect one. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then I'll get back to you guys. And then I take the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline and it's like more orangey instead of pinky. That's like my perfect lip color. I'm gonna take some more setting powder really quick and just set my makeup a little bit more. Now to finish up for my eyes, I take the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the color white. I used to never use white eyeliner. I would always see girls using it and I'm like, that is so like, ew. But then I started using it and I was like, that is so wow. And now I use it all the time. I just take it and then put it on my lower waterline. Boom, you see like it just opens up my eyes so much. I love it. Now I'm gonna clean up my mascara. A spoolie is the best way to clean up your mascara. It just takes it off so easily without taking off the makeup you have under. And the last thing is I take the Milk Makeup Electra Glossy Limp Pumper. Can't even say the word limp. Put it on my lip and it gives it like the perfect gloss. That's it for my makeup. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my makeup routine and I love it so much. It's all works for me. I'll have the products linked down below. And yeah, I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.